Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with ML2. I noticed that we haven't had a video about ML2 and this is, bless you, and this is not the uh, worst vehicle in the world of tanks, right? Uh, it is interesting tank, gonna have, uh, the thing is, this tank is behaving so much better when you are having two stabilizers aka or improved rotation mechanism, vertical stabilizer and ventilation. It's behaving so much better gun handling wise, but then you don't have view range unless you have extremely skilled crew. So yeah, it is it is quite interesting thing. Either way, we will try to make this vehicle work and fellas, bless our souls. I had one battle, um, I had one warming up battle, I did like 800 damage, which is, uh, which is very, very good. I am proud of myself, but now we need to go to the real business and to uh, try to get at least 4,000 combined via 2-3 games, right? That's the plan, that's the dream, that's the hope, so let's deal with this, right fellas? Let's do this. Um, overall, ML2 is the tank which can play hold down, right? Um, you have a very, very decent armor and compare it to the ML1, right? Which is the first uh, tier, a, which is pretty much the tier 8 uh, uh, Swedish tank. Um, ML2 is definitely feeling like improvement, but once again, we'll see how the things will go and we'll see what we can do with this vehicle. The thing is, you want maps which is, which is having, whenever you are fighting against enemies, you want to be in the close range with this vehicle, right? Use your gun depression and enjoy yourself. If the distance is going to be way higher, uh, I can tell you one thing, the gun handling is not going to treat you very, very, very well, right? At least that's what I noticed with this vehicle when I was playing with it. But anyways, um, it's not the time to complain, it's time to show what we uh, got, right? So, first of all, we have a shit river, uh, excuse me, sand river. So, what is the plan? What do we want to do? IS-32 raised his gun and he is ready to go for uh, for some uh, for some slaughtering. Type 61 have his gun raised too. Beautiful. Beautiful, fellas. Anyways, uh, first thing which I want to highlight, fellas, we have, um, we have the two Jeffs in the enemy team, which is not a very, very good thing. But I can't uh, imagine doing something else, fellas. I mean, look, this position, in my opinion, from this side is the best to make pressure like this, right? I am very, very well aware of the couple bushwankers which is sitting here, but still I am feeling quite well with this, fellas. I am feeling quite well with this. Uh, type 61, type 61 PP raise it. Phase 1 PP raised. Everyone is having their PP raised, fellas. Easy game. Easy game. Okay, anyways. Um, what is the plan for us? Once again, what is happening in my pigeon head? I think I am going to start everything with a very, very, very risky decision. I'm going to take this position over there and I will simply eliminate the T30 from the game, right? I think we can actually afford it. The distance between me and T30 is relatively low and the T30 is going down. Excellent. So what we need to do, pay attention how many guns uh, we have there, fellas. We have, we have many, many, many guns here, right? So we want to provide them with assisting damage here. This is very, very important thing. Conqueror is there. Um, the IS-32 is here. Beautiful. This is exactly what we want to see, fellas. We want to spot every single mother trucker which is playing here. I'm very, very well aware of that. The Jeff is going to be annoying uh, as pile of caco, okay? I am aware of that. I simply can't change anything about this, right? It's just how it goes. The sad part of all this, we don't really have anyone which is sitting here, so no one can uh, bang this um, conqueror although I have an idea how I can uh, deal with this kind of situation skill uh, tell us how the flying if you can deal with this I'm thinking about taking this bush here skill why you are thinking about oh why you are thinking about uh, taking this bush here answer is very 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 simple I am I am thinking um, about eliminating the type 61 from the game right it's very 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 important and plus on top of that if it's not enough they have the MX 5120 which is sitting right there and he is dead beautiful okay step by step fellas we are going to relocate 
barricade from here beautiful and we are feeling gucci very nice okay time to start banging this type 61 without even asking his name look at this beautiful position hi dear my little soul the type 61 is thinking what the flying f is happening here i'm spotted that's okay and he actually managed to find the angle to shoot me that's quite sad but i can't change it anyways he is thinking about some kind of stupid things and he is a gun from the game excellent fellas that's completely fine enemy jeff is having a crush on me um, i mean fellas enemy jeff is trying to purpose me uh, enemy jeff is trying to focus me on purpose right here why am i saying so uh, because we have a lot of a lot of heavy tanks which is open here but jeff uh, um, is focusing on less which is completely fine once again uh, i do not use the anonymizer in their server and uh, uh, as you can see it's very very fun to meet the guys which is uh, um which is raising their peace and which is uh, uh, having a laughs uh, and giggles with us and in the same time we can meet uh, Jeff's which is going to bang us like there is no tomorrow but that's completely fine relax take it easy we got this now we have extremely good angle for this uh, conqueror right so what is our main goal here is obviously to try to bang him Although, once again, remember what did I mention it about the gun of this vehicle, fellas? The gun of this tank can be a big pain in the ass. Uh, especially when the gun is saying, nope, you are not going to hit today. So, yeah, keep this in mind. But it doesn't change the fact we will try to uh, eliminate the Conqueror from the game. In fact, speaking about the Conqueror, he is kind of dead, I would say. Beautiful Conqueror is dead if this guy is going to pick, which he is speaking. I'm trying to hit him. And three out of three shells beautiful 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 fellas beautiful okay what do we want to do now we know enemy jeff is sitting somewhere around this area and we know the leopata is going to get bursted by the standard b and by the um, 430 and type 61 right so i kind of need to start thinking how we can go and defend the base before it's too late fellas hmm Okay, relax, take it easy, we got this. Okay, how about this T10? T10 is thinking about crossing through the open field right here, and this is exactly what we was dreaming about. Obviously not about this beautiful bounce, right? But it happens, we cannot change it, beautiful. Okay, two out of three is half of the trouble, it's not that bad, and the T10 is um, asking his um, life choices there, right? Uh, it was worth it to cross like this or not so much, that's okay. Uh, and what do we want to do now? I am thinking about kind of retreating back and maybe even dropping into this dip here. Um, why so? Because I think we can actually deal with the Type 61 and uh, um, MX430 and um, Object 430 and so on, so on, right? I think we can actually make it work. So let's see. Can we do this? This guy is dead. Very, very good luck from the gun. Luckily, the T10 did not manage it to hit us, which is very, 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 very good, fellas. And we are simply running away. Remember, the Jeff was sitting somewhere over there. And I need to give the information for our guys, right? So... Type 61, hello, hello, you beautiful mother trucker. Okay, he have quite a bit of HP here. I missed once, doesn't change anything. I'm going for another shot and luckily we managed to hit him. That's okay. I am very, very well aware of um, what can happen next. Um, by saying what can happen next, I might get banged by the clicker, but it's completely fine. Now Type 61 is thinking about going super aggressively right here, right? But I'm on the reload and he probably knows that. 3, 2 one and i'm dead unfortunate but it's okay we have um we have a solid 4000 damage there and considering what kind of map we are having with the two jeffs it's not that bad of a situation right um so i'm um, speaking about all this situation i could not play over there because jeff would simply bank the living hell out of me which is completely understandable i'm here a tank in the open field i cannot blame uh, i cannot blame this person and overall fellas there is a good saying don't blame the person uh, blame the game if we can say so right uh, 
Um, every single of us might have those frustrating moments when we are getting banged by the Jeffs, especially in the lower tier. Um, lately, I played with a heavy tank number six, right? And matchmaking with a three M forty fours is probably worse than uh, than anything else I ever experienced in this game. Whenever you are slow and whenever Jeffs are focusing you three of them, it's GG, finito. You can't play the game. So as an example, Prokurovka, Kempinovka, three Artas. You are playing with a tiger. Ay, 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 ay. You are not going to enjoy yourself. So what I want to say, fellas, I want to say, uh, I want to wish for every single of us to be a bit more positive, right? Um, not everything is ideal into the game, but hell, let's try to get uh, uh, the most fun of it as we can, right, fellas? This is my wish for every single of us. So let's teleport into the other battle. It's okay. This is the start. 4,000 raw damage. I can't complain too much. Let's teleport into the other game, shall we? And we are back, fellas, zero seconds on the um, base capture and uh, base have been captured. Um, everything is fine, all Gucci, we managed to win this battle. Uh, it was a great game, fellas. Uh, I mean... I am very, very happy when uh, we are seeing like uh, 15 to 12, 15 to 10 when actually one team can, uh, when both teams have a chance to win, right? It is always nice, it is always welcome, and it's always bladiful. So, speaking about this battle, by the looks of it, this clicker was very, very experienced. At clicker, 3.7 thousand damage, very, very good job. Um, anyways, we managed to win this game, we are top by experience, we are second by the damage, which is very good, T30, very good job. 5.3 thousand damage that's very very nice uh, and once again fellas this is the score which we have after the first game uh, nothing too crazy nothing ideal but i am feeling good and you know what i want to give it a go i want to test out this tank with a rotation mechanism and with a stabilizer the main reason why i'm giving a go for those two skills um well for those for those two equipment pieces is because it should make this tank more agile and it should make this tank more accurate right um so let's try to use it and let's see can we spot any difference whatsoever this is the question um and let's hope for a positive answer right so, we don't have an extremely good view range, but it's not changing the fact at least this time we have a gun which can treat us very, very well. And whenever you are playing with a tank, fellas, you are the ones which needs to make a decision what do you want to use for equipment, right? Are you feeling good by not having extremely good the view, uh, view range? Or you are not feeling so good because the view range is very, very important for you? Do you want to have the gun which is behaving very, very well? Or do you want to spot enemies earlier, right? It's very, very important thing and every single of us needs to uh, think about that. Okay, so what is the plan? I love this map, fellas, honestly, for me, Ghost Town is one of my favorite maps. I don't know why, but I am... Uh, um i am feeling just great with this right so what is what is the what is the plan for us um we are starting this battle and i truly love to start this battle in this way i am taking this position right here and i am clipping someone which is trying to make a pressure like this right this is my casual start and this is how usually i start my games usually it works great and sometimes not so much when i'm getting banged and no one is asking my name but we'll see time will show everything so the first things are first um what we need to be afraid of we need to be afraid of the bushwankers which is playing here right not a big surprise second of all we need to pretty much pre-aim here well not pre-aim but to turn our turrets here and to prepare to bank whoever is playing around this area and here we go we found the emil emil is not going to enjoy ourselves fellas well Emil is not going to have a lot of fun. I can promise you that. And here we go. Two out of three. Not horrible. So this is how we are getting the first clip. Usually it works very, very good. And usually you are not losing any HP whatsoever. Um, sometimes there is some tank destroyers which is stopping in the middle of the field there. Then you might have a bit of the problems. But usually everything is working just well and just fine. So... 
next part as you can see our t44 crossed via the middle and this is very very good thing why is it good thing fellas because now we can think how to keep uh, clipping those guys here one for the team for e75 another for the team e75 and the third for the team although we penetrated only two out of uh, um only two out of three but it doesn't really change anything right uh, what i noticed about this vehicle immediately in this session fellas the gun handling can be a bit of the kaku right the gun handling can treat you um quite bad with this tank so probably a luck is necessary in order to have the Esther Wayne, the Emil 2 or Kranwagen body I suppose to say but that's completely fine it happens okay what do we want to do here how about if we will start banging the uh, guys which is playing right here I will take one for the team I don't really mind and he is dead nice and once again every single time boys and girls ladies and gentlemen we are going to um, two out of three right can we change this uh, statistics and can we actually hit uh, three shots instead of two? This is the question. So what I'm going to do now, by the way, enemy team have no chance to win. And I believe that's completely understandable, right? What we are going to do right here, we are aiming for the STI, although our guy is kind of blocking our, our angle. But in the same time, it's not changing anything because we kind of can't get the... Um, we don't have enough penetration to deal with this guy in this position, which is completely fine. So, what do we want to do now? My goal is to reach this angle here. Scale wide this angle. Because then we are going to see the side of the STI. Scale no way. Way, fellas. Way. Absolutely way. One for the team. STI is not happy. Two for the team. Davai. Three for the team. Three out of three. Game. Don't misbehave. Where there Hashem is. Any Benny. I'm going here. I'm going here. There is two positions where Er Hashem actually can be. Option number one in this bush, option number two in this bush, right? Other than that, he can't be anywhere else, at least in my in my book, right? In my understanding. Anyways, what do we want to do now? Now we are going to make a hardcore pressure. Ooh, Er Hashem. Hi there, sweetheart. Uh, he is moving in front and back. He messed up and he is dead. Beautiful. We are getting this sweet 500 assisting damage, which we um, are dreaming about, right? Okay, very, very nice performance, very nice situation. So, what is the goal now? Now, goal is to make a pressure like this for the Udes and for the Amaik Sada. I have to win the magazine, which is going to be more than enough, right? I should be able to eliminate one of those two guys, right? At least that's what I want to believe. So, let's see. Udes is not looking at us. Udes took one for the team. I'm going for one to this guy and I'm trying to ram the Udes because why the heck not come here okay how about you Weeew! on the full ramming speed PP raise it boom minus 200 beautiful beautiful and what do we have here we have 4000 damage and 1.7 thousand assisting damage excellent um although once again enemy team did not had uh, a chance there but in the same time we can give a big fat thumbs up for our start because we stopped quite a bit of the people which is uh, which is going aggressively like this right so fellas boys and girls ladies and gentlemen if you are playing with auto loader right a faster auto loader as an example 5100 Kranwagen ML2 T57 if you are obviously able to get into this position in time test it out maybe it will work in the same way as it is working for me to by the damage to by experience great battle made a bit of the profits everything everything went fine uh did i notice a significant difference with the uh, improved rotation mechanism honestly not really so you know what that means we could replace the ventilation for hmm you know what let's go for another one uh skill what do you mean let's go for another one i want to check one thing out um, actually ventilation is going to mess up our dispersion a bit, which is not very, very good. I am thinking about another option. Skill, what is another option? Replacing ventilation. Hear me out, fellas. Instead of yelling on me, hear me out. Replacing ventilation for optics, right? And using 
and using stabilizer as a directive. Maybe this is the right way to do the things and maybe then tank uh, is going to be jack of all trades in a way. Maybe we are going to have the uh, excellent view range and in the same time we are going to have a very decent gun handling. We'll see. Uh, maybe this is the way to do the things, right? So what do we have? We have the Berlin. Um, not the map which I dislike by any means, but you need to keep this in mind. We have uh, three Jeffs there. So playing... Ooh. Okay, let's be honest. Playing in the window is not going to work because of the Jeffs. So, what is the alternative option for not playing to the window, right? Um, I think alternative option can be to take this gap here, right? This position. This is the plan. So, how about we are going to do that, fellas? Cross your fingers uh, for me and let's hope to get a decent performance, right? The third battle, uh, we want to get at least 4,000 combined. At least that's what I'm aiming for a tier 9 vehicles um, pretty much all the time when I'm making a YouTube video, right? So, I can keep up the class speaking about the gameplay, right? And hopefully, uh, I can teach you one or two things, right? I wish to have the full tutorial for every single vehicle in the game like uh, how to play one map another map third map and so on but this is not really possible my lovely friends it would take multiple 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 years of uh, work in order to do so so yeah and what i noticed it, fellas i noticed that you are enjoying the um live battles the most whenever i am playing and making the decisions at the lifetime right that's what i noticed it. and correct me if i'm wrong uh, which games for you is the most enjoyable? As an example, um, do you like those epic games? Um, do you like to see those epic games or do you like to see those realistic uh, battles, right? Whenever I don't know what will happen and I am just trying to think out loud. What am I doing? Why I'm doing this? And how I'm doing this? And so on, so on. I'm curious. By the way, speaking about the situation, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, um, soon you will see the magical stunning numbers out there. So keep this in mind. Mm. Okay. Skill, what is happening in your head? I am thinking about the T-54 Echo 1. This is exactly what I am thinking about. Also, we could make a pressure together with our 430 like this. I have another idea, fellas. I am not entirely sure how is it going to work very good. This, this idea is going to work extremely, extremely good, fellas. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, what we got, we got one um, out of two, which is okay, 50% uh, chance to do damage, right, it's okay, we got this. Now, what is happening in my pigeon head, I am thinking, I am thinking with this guy about making a bit of pressure, how about if we are going to make like this? How about, how about that, this is very impatient move, but we can actually do this. Let's focus the T10. We can do this, fellas. Trust, trust in yourselves, okay? This is going to be bladeful. Oh, curva. Maybe not so bladeful. No, давай. Auto loader is going down. Auto loader is dead. Now, what do we want to do? We want to deal with this T10. Now we want to do. With, uh, now we want to deal with this T10. Look at this, fellas. That actually worked. Who could imagine that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Who could imagine that? That actually worked, fellas. We need to say thank you for this beautiful mother tracker. That was a very very nice pressure together, right? Holy effing yeah, that worked, fellas. I'm so damn excited about this one. Okay, I never ever did that before, right? Um, so. Um, Making a hardcore pressure like this, that worked extremely, extremely, extremely well. Um, nice. I am actually surprised. So here you go, fellas. We are living and we are learning, right? Um, it's always nice to do the things which I never ever did before. And uh, especially when those things is actually uh, paying off quite well, right? Motion is going to get banged. So I don't really care about the motion. But what I care about, I care about the medium tanks, which is playing right there, right? I mean, I could try to push for the IS-7 there and there. And maybe this is the right way to do the things. I'm not entirely sure. 
I am not entirely sure. Is it worth it or not really? I has had a full HP. Yeah, that was mistake. Okay, mistakes were made, fellas. Uh, skill, what do you mean mistakes were made? So, I could get one more extra clip. Um, if I would keep making pressure for the IS-7 like this, but I decided not to. Uh, it is completely fine. I deserved what I got and everything is Gucci. Meanwhile, what do we have? We have the Jeff, which is playing on the off open field, right? That's very, very good. And we are getting assisting damage. So, that means we are the, the almighty spotter in this situation. Nice. Very beautiful. Okay, how about if we will try to find the enemy Jeff? Um, M5355 can be right there and unfortunately it is the case. Once again, speaking about the situation, my friends, I could definitely get one more extra clip which would add uh, 1.2 thousand uh, damage to the board, right? But once again, mistakes were made. There is no medicine from stupidity. There is a saying like this, my friends. There is no medicine from stupidity. That's okay. So, what do we have? We have 2.4 thousand damage and 1.3 thousand assisting damage, which is bringing us to uh, 3.7 thousand combined. Yet not that bad whatsoever. And once again, some mistakes were made. But still, pressure with a 430 together. Mwah! That worked so damn well. I am extremely happy about this. And this is some kind of thoughts for you, my lovely friends. Uh, maybe you will find the person for which you are going to say, Davai, comrade, let's go together. And maybe World of Tanks will become not uh, um, not everyone for themselves, but a team play after all. Right, fellas? So, what do we have here? We have the, we are the fourth by the damage, which is completely fine. We are first by experience, which is excellent. Uh, we made a bit of the profits and in the end of the day with a uh, ml2 my lovely friends uh, we played for 3.4 thousand damage 1000 assisting damage which is bringing us to three point uh, actually four point uh, 4,000 combined, which is very, very good. I'm super happy and I hope, uh, uh, fellas, you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, fellas. That was your daily dose of uh, skill and skill is out. Peace.